Taylor's a two-way forward for us. He's he's uh, great offensively. He's also great defensively. He's a he's an impact player for us. Uh, he's tough to play against. Um, he's one of the heaviest hitters in our league. I think if you look at his his body, you don't anticipate him being that that heavy hitter. But he's laid out some great body checks for us in the last two years. Well, he's a, he's a wonderful teammate. I mean, he's one of the most respected guys in our room two years in a row. Um, off the ice, he's just a happy person. He's you know he's he's well liked by his teammates. He's an honest person. He comes from a great California family. Um, we're very happy to have him here. Uh, well, my dad used to be a big Kings fan, still is, but uh, he's been going to games ever since they started playing at the Forum. Um, so he kind of got me into it. I started playing when I was six years old. Uh, I was a goalie in my first year, but I didn't like that too much. So uh, and that's pretty much it. I've been playing ever since. Pretty much played on the Los Angeles Junior Kings my whole life. Um, when I was 18, uh, I was playing 18 AAA. They, uh, Troy, uh, I guess, saw me at a showcase in Phoenix, and he sent me an email. and. Uh, they, he said that they had a silverbacks had a camp out in Simi Valley, which is in California. So I went there, and then kind of that's how I got into it. Well, I mean, at first, uh, you know, being from the states, it's it's a rough decision. But um, you know, Troy was very convincing in his argument. I'm sure everyone knows that. Um, but he's a great guy, and I think that ultimately that was what helped me decide. Is I knew I wanted to play for. Um, a guy who has as much character as, as he does, and Brando as well. Um, but yeah, I think ultimately that it was it wasn't based on me living in California versus uh, Canada. But I just wanted to play in a place where I knew I was gonna you know be protected, all that stuff. I have never really seen a USHL game. Um, heard good things about it, but um, you know I think that playing up here, you you get a lot more people that actually care about hockey as opposed to. Um, or you know, living on the West Coast in the States, no one really knows about hockey too much, so I definitely enjoy playing up here a lot more. Um, you know, for the team, uh, I, th I think we had a pretty good first three quarters of the year, and then obviously we kind of slipped at the end, so that was disappointing, but um, personally, I, I think that I had a good season. Um, kind of struggled up until Christmas, and I came back and started playing with a little bit more confidence, so I was able to come in this year knowing that I could play in the league, and. Um, you know, I just ultimately I was more confident this year. You know, everyone wants to score, but the the main thing is um, we need to win as a team, and I want to go to the RBC really bad, so that's the that's the goal for us. Um, you know, if you would have asked me a couple months before I committed that, it, you know, if I was going to go to the army or military, I would have said no way. But um, you know, they offered me a scholarship uh, right after Christmas last year, and I went to go visit in the spring, and I loved it. So you know. Same as Troy, you know, those coaches, they were pretty convincing in their arguments, so you know, I, I'm excited to go there. Time now for Overtime with Taylor Maruya. And Taylor, do you have a Twitter account, and what is your handle? Uh, yes, I do. It's uh, Taylor underscore Maruya. Jet planes or tanks? Tanks for sure. Uh, I know one of your teammates would go jet planes. Uh, favorite pregame meal? Uh, probably chicken tenders and pasta. What do you do for fun in uh, Westchester, California? Uh, I go to the beach every day. That's it. <laughs> Favorite movie of all time? Lawless. Favorite NHL team and why? Uh, Los Angeles Kings. Born and raised in Los Angeles, so I've been going to games ever since I was about five years old. I guess we'll accept that. Uh, who is the most rowdy hockey fan in your family? I'm going to have to say probably my uncle. My uncle gets really fired up sometimes. Really? Not dad? Uh, he does too, but he controls it maybe a little bit better than my uncle. Milkshakes or floats? Milkshakes. What do you do for fun in your free time around Salmon Arm? Uh, we go hiking a lot um, and then go out down to Canoe Beach, but um, I'd say mostly hiking. What do you always take with you on the road? A uh, nice pillow. That's it? Just a pillow? Yeah, just a pillow. And the best piece of advice given to you is? Uh, probably never let anyone put you down. Just keep your head down and keep going. Thank you.